Portofino retreat experience has just wrapped up. Um, it's been an amazing time of retreat and community. It's been amazing seeing so many teachers really encounter that call once again um, of what being an educator really means. That they're an educator and a formator, um, a counsellor, um, but most of all they're really responsible in bringing the love of God to their students. And we've seen over the past day so many teachers just reconnect with that call and it's just such a privilege to be in this work. Um, it's been an amazing and blessed retreat. As a person who's just finished the Porta Vida, Fido, it was fantastic. I recommend it to all, all teachers out there who just need to take a little bit of time out, especially if you're an RE teacher, take a little bit of time out and just reflect on your, your role as a teacher in the school. And you know, it's a, it is a serious vocation. And uh, just to recharge your, little bat your batteries a bit. And also for anyone that's involved in youth ministry or any other ministry roles in the name of Jesus in schools, thoroughly recommend it. Eucharist with the community of um, more than believers, I think Eucharist with the community of people who are drawn um, to being in communion with each other. Uh, that's that's pretty amazing. That was good. Yeah. We've come to the end of the Porter for Day retreat. Uh, it's a good opportunity for teacher renewal uh, and to reignite the passion uh, to teach in your classrooms for. Uh, your religion curriculum, uh, particularly the CSYMA aspect, uh, learning a bit more about it um, has been beneficial for me as a new teacher to, to the new movement of CSYMA. Uh, overall, it's been a fantastic, ex a fantastic experience uh, with some really inspiring speakers uh, and I'm going to take a lot of beneficial things back to me to my local school uh, from this retreat. So I'd like to thank everyone involved and it was a great job, so well done. The best thing I got out today was actually to network with other young, vibrant, practicing Catholics um, and actually feel that I wasn't the only one out there and battling it out in the battlefields with students and yeah, it was, the personal sharings was great to actually hear someone else struggling with the same things and seeing things in the, out of the same perspective. It was good because I came out of it with um, a sentence in my head, I guess, or, or something that I could focus on, and that is, she was talking about um, uh, Genesis and original sin, and, and uh, this idea of a saviour or, or um, a salvific, you know, God. And I came out of it, I guess, with with one thing, which was um, that we are working our way back to our goodness, um, our original, our perfection, our, our perfect state. Um, through Jesus Christ. So, for me that gave me some food for thought, um, something to think about and um, I think it's important for us um, as individuals to, to ruminate on, um, on these concepts that are quite difficult um, and at least to come out with some focus. So it's given me, it gave, that session gave me something um, quite concrete to focus on. Um, which is really helpful, especially um, when you're in a classroom and uh, you really have to be quite sure about the information. Um, you talk, and you have you yourself have to think about it. So um, that's that's definitely what that first session gave me some time to think. I've travelled all the way from WA, Geraldton. Um, I had no idea what I was coming to when my REC asked me if I wanted to be part of the Porta Fide. Here we have, we've come to the end and it's just been amazing. I've never had the opportunity, personal faith formation. Um, I feel inspired, I feel loved and thank you everybody who participated, especially the courage shown by the people who gave personal testimony. I really appreciate it and I've got a lot to take back home.